I love you too, and I love Miss Kelly. First off, Miss Kelly, I hope that you do not take this personal on what I'm about to say, so please do not take it personal. This is me as a content creator speaking out on the whole thing as a whole and speaking out on your platform and how I'm not very impressed with what you guys have done. Now, before you think that I'm not impressed with how you guys are handling Marty, I'm very impressed with that. I'm actually very thankful that you guys have been helping out. But what I am not impressed with and what I am not pleased or happy with is the fact that you guys don't think that you guys are responsible for the merchandise shops and everything that happens outside of YouTube when you guys actually are. Because let me say something, as a content creator, I can tell you this, for a fact, for a fact, all of your biggest YouTubers, every one of your major YouTubers on the platform, like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, uh, Markiplier, that dude in blue, and several other major YouTubers, make money off of two things, ad revenue and merchandise. And the fact that you guys are not going to do anything about these people falsely reporting my merchandise shops is garbage. I'm not impressed and I'm not amused. You guys are responsible for that. Because as I said, every YouTuber makes money and revenue off of two things. Ad revenue from videos and views and merchandise sales. And the fact that you guys are not going to go after Music Biz Marty and his friends for even more loss of wages, such as shutting down my shops, stealing my music, I'm not impressed with. I am not impressed with that at all. In fact, I am very disappointed. I expected more from the YouTube staff. I expected way more from the YouTube staff. I expected you guys to, you know, go in and be like, okay, we see what's going on. Okay, these are the two places that you're losing money. This is how we can fix it. We can make sure that you're not going to get reported. You guys need to be held responsible for what you do. Because as I said to you, Miss Kelly, you guys need to get more people in there to review your stuff. You guys need to have actual people there reviewing your videos. Because as I said, there are not very there are not real people in there reviewing the videos. Because if there were, this would have been done with a long time ago, and Music Biz Marty and all these people would have been shut down. I am not very impressed with YouTube as a platform at all. If anything, I'm very disappointed. Because when YouTube first started out, if these people that are doing this stuff to me now would have done this stuff back then, you guys would have had it done, dealt with, and taken care of right then and there. And I wouldn't have lost all these channels. I wouldn't have lost all of this money that I have lost because of these people. These people have committed actual crimes and have gotten away with it. But yet you guys choose to do nothing about it. Therefore, as a content creator, until you guys fix your platform and you start doing right by your content creators, because if you guys don't have enough people, you guys need to get more people in there, apparently. There needs to be real people reviewing each and every single video. There really does need to be more staff reviewing every single video. Every single video needs to be reviewed by a human. By a real person. 
not some robot that thinks, oh, this is wrong. When a lot of the times, when people like me are retaliating or defending ourselves, that robot takes what we're doing as wrong, and it's not wrong. And a lot of the times, it takes being falsely reported as a legitimate report when it's not. It's being falsely reported. That's why you guys need real staff members in your office. You need to have real people reviewing each and every single video that comes in. Otherwise, this kind of problem is going to continue to happen. And I get it. I'm just one of thousands of YouTubers that write into you guys every day. I get that. But that's why you hire more staff to be able to spread out everything equally. So that it's not just on one or two people. It's on several people to sit there and review every single video. And to look and see, oh, is this person doing something wrong? Or are they simply fighting back and defending themselves or speaking their opinion on something? Or is this person bullying and attacking somebody? Or is this person really just defending themselves? And like I said, Miss Kelly, this is not an attack towards you at all. This is me speaking out against YouTube and what I see wrong and what is actually going on with YouTube and what needs to be fixed. Therefore, I as a content creator am retiring from YouTube until you guys fix what's going on. Because I am not impressed with what you guys are doing. Now, as I said, Miss Kelly, I do appreciate your help and, you know, doing what you need to do to take care of Marty and William and N-Word Boy. But I will not sit here and allow the merchandise that my people want, that I want to be able to release, the, st the music that I want to be able to release, the content that I want to be able to release, I will not have that. And I will not allow that to be put in jeopardy because you guys feel like it's not your place to handle anything outside of YouTube when it actually is. It is your job to handle what's going on outside of YouTube. It doesn't matter whether they're a small YouTuber or a major and a very large YouTuber. Every YouTuber makes money off of two things. Ad revenue and merchandise. And when somebody comes along and falsely reports that person's shop and they report that to you, it is your job to reach out to that shop and be like, hey, this person's shop got shut down for, you know, X, Y, and Z. You know, we need to figure out a way to get that person's shop reinstated and show that these people are doing this stuff falsely. And there are ways to go about doing that. Because as I told you, Miss Kelly, I have had several shops unfairly shut down and unfairly deleted because these people do not want me making money, as I told you on Marty's live stream. I have sat right there and told you that these people do not want me making money on any front. It doesn't matter whether it's YouTube, um, ad revenue off of YouTube. It doesn't matter whether it's merchandise shops. They don't care. They do not want me making money. And the fact that you're not going to do anything about them you know, falsely reporting my merchandise shops. 
That's not right. Therefore, YouTube, until you guys fix your stuff, and until you guys fix this issue that you guys got going on with very little staff, and until you guys actually start doing what's right by your content creators, I cannot and I will not support YouTube as a platform. I will support other YouTubers that I watch, but I will not support YouTube as a platform. You guys have failed me. You have failed my family and you have failed my friends. And you have also failed my fan base that want to see me succeed. Therefore, this is my final video. And I will not be posting anymore after this video. I am very disappointed in YouTube. I am very disappointed in how you guys are handling things. The way you are handling things is not good. I am not impressed. Therefore, I, Chance Wilkins, am officially retiring from YouTube. I am not impressed. And I will not support a platform that does not take responsibility for their actions.